So Bernie Sanders continues to just uh, massively disappoint me. Um, I will always have tons of love for Bernie. I want to be clear. You know, I, I, I won't ever question Bernie Sanders' intention. I think he I think he thinks he's doing the right thing by capitulating to the Democrats. I, I massively disagree, but I do believe he thinks he's doing the right thing for his movement. Um, and I'll always have love for Bernie for bringing so many people into politics, for uh, inspiring me, um, you know, and many others that I know. So... Um, I want to be very clear. I'm not trying to sit here and come down on Bernie, but boy, lately has he been just massively disappointing to me. Um, you know, continues to disappoint by refusing to uh, endorse Ed Markey. So we have two candidates here in Markey and Kennedy. Markey is clearly the, the more progressive of the two by quite a margin. And um, instead, Bernie refuses to endorse, you know. Ed Markey. Ed Markey is the co-sponsor of the Green New Deal, one of Bernie's core policy proposals. And Bernie refuses to endorse him. So, shame on you, Bernie. Shame on you. You know, it's a little bit like the uh, the capitulation to the establishment Democrats has been complete. Um, you know, he gets up and emotionally begs us to vote for Joe. Um, and now this. It's... Uh, Disheartening. Disheartening. So I hope that progressives, um, you know, this new wave of progressives that we see, I hope that they will not end up capitulating to the Democrats like Bernie did. Um, I hope the Nina Turners of the world will continue to push for an outside party if necessary. You know, it's they're doing the People's Convention. Nina and Cor Dr. Cornell West is going to speak, and, um, uh, you know, ex-Senator Mike Gravel is going to speak, and there's – it's – a progressive lineup. So um, I'm hopeful that some of these progressives will continue the push. I'm hopeful that the Jamal Bowmans and Mondaire Joneses and Cory Bushes of the world will not capitulate to Pelosi and the Democrats uh, as much as some of the squad members have. Um, I love that Rashida Tlaib has refused to endorse Joe Biden. I love that she and I think Ilhan Omar also both voted against the Democratic platform because it did not have Medicare for all in it. Um, I love that kind of actual pushback, um, you know, to to not just fold to Pelosi and her goons. Um, so sad to see, really, really sad to see Bernie doing this. It's just, uh, it's disheartening. So um, I'm sure there are many out there that are just as disappointed by, by Bernie's behavior as I am. Um, you know, he had all the leverage in the world uh, before he endorsed Joe and he could have used that leverage to actually get personnel or policy concessions, you know, could have been like, Hey Joe, you know, here's the deal. I'm going to sit this one out. Wish you luck and sit this one out unless you give me X, Y, and Z, you know, and he didn't do it. Just Medicare for all. How about just Medicare for all? How many progressives out there that are not going to vote for Joe Biden? That's me. I'm not, I'm going to vote for Hawkins. Um, how many progressives out there would plug their nose, cry themselves to sleep, and vote for Joe Biden? I would have. If he, if he supported Medicare for all, or even if, if he said, I'll support a Green New Deal and a federal job guarantee, okay, plug my fucking nose, I'll vote for you. But no, he, Bernie couldn't even, couldn't even use his leverage to do that. And by the way, how much stronger of a candidate would that have made Joe Biden? Like the, the whole world acts as though if you dare to use your leverage and, and, and push back on Joe, you're harming him. The whole world acts that way. Well, maybe maybe if we would have pushed back on Joe a little bit more and gotten Medicare for all out of him, maybe he'd be up by fucking 15 in the polls right now because that's a, po a policy that damn near 70% of the country supports. About half a Republican support that policy. You want to pull people from the right who hate Donald Trump over? How about supporting a fucking policy that half of them support? And 90% of your own policy, your own party supports. But no, he can't even fucking do that. And, and Bernie just, just bows down to the master. I'll give you my vote. I'll give you my endorsement. I'll give you my fucking leverage. Just hand it over to you with nothing. No personnel concession. No policy concession. Bernie could have tried to leverage a progressive VP. Bernie could, could have tried to leverage progressive cabinet picks. Bernie could have said you can't put a hawk in at, at you know, Secretary of State or whatever. He could have tried to leverage anything. No, nothing. We got diddly squat. 
And then he turns around and gives this emotional fucking plea to, you got to vote for Joe. Fucking A. Um, it physically hurts, man. It physically hurts. <laughs> 